Okay, here we go. Now, I want to talk about some perfect squares first. Perfect squares. What is the square root of zero? Zero. What is the square root of one? One. What square root of two? Two. Doesn't have one. It's 1.414 blah blah blah. What square root of three? Where are you writing? Doesn't have one. A blank paper. Just pay attention for a minute. Oh, okay. 1.7 blah 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 blah. What square root of four? Two. 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 There we go. That's What's a perfect zero square. To the zero? One. one. What square root of five? Two point blah blah blah. What square root of six? Two point blah blah blah. What square root of seven? Two point blah blah blah. What square root of eight? Two point blah blah blah. What square root of nine? Three. 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 Okay, so there's not a whole lot of perfect squares. Okay, there's not a whole lot of perfect squares. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you a technique. Okay, what's the difference between these two? What is the difference between those two? One. One. What's the difference between these two? Two. Three. Four minus one is three. What's oh, the difference between four and nine? Oh, something like this. What? What's the difference between four and nine? Five. Five. So there is this pattern, okay? It goes up by odd number every time, how far apart they are. Like the next one will be up by 7, right? Square root of 16 is 4. Next one is up by 9. Square root of 25 is 5. Okay? So there is a pattern among perfect squares. There are a difference of odd numbers. They go up by odd numbers every time. All right, now. So what does that mean? Well, it's going to affect how we do this problem. Okay? It's going to affect how we do this problem. Why does this have Bailey's name on it? Mom? <laughs> 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 Alright, why would I have her paper? I took it off of that table over there. Anyways, alright, here we go. So these, we're graphing these functions today. We are graphing these functions today. And you're going to fi start by finding a domain. We're starting by finding the domain, okay? So, you're going to set the inside of the radical. The radical is this squiggly sign, okay? The inside of this radical is 2x minus 6. The 4 is not inside the radical. So I'm going to write 2x minus 6 is greater than or equal to 0. This part right here, the greater than or equal to 0, is every time. You may not keep it, but you start with it every time. You start with the greater than or equal to 0. Now, solve this. So you add 6 to both sides. So you get 2x is greater than or equal to 6. What's the next step? Divide. By? 2. 2. So you get x is greater than or equal to 3. That is my domain. That is my domain. I have a question. Go ahead. So like the plus 4, would that like not be like a part of this equation? Because Correct. Like it's only what's inside the square root. All right. All right. And All right. I have another question too. So like, um, if like the two, um, the two x, is, that was a negative, like the sign change? Correct. So if I had to divide by a negative two, then the inequality symbol changes direction. Okay? We just show it off now. <laughs> All right, starting point. Starting point starts with that domain value, that three, okay? Now what you're gonna do is plug the three into this expression. Plug the 3 into that function. What do you get when you plug that in, Aiden? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, you do. Just plug it in. 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 2 times 3 minus 6 plus 4. Right? I'm plugging it into that expression. What's 2 times 3? What's six. 2 times 6? What's 6 minus 6? Zero. What's square root of 0? Zero? 0. Zero. 0. What's 0 plus 4? Four? 0. Well, no, 4. <laughs> so that's how you got the 4. What? Well, 3 though. Well, that 3 from over here. Oh, so this going to be okay. All right. So you're gonna put this ordered pair at the top. Now, so now you're going to choose a number 
that you can plug in there and it's nice, okay? Uh, uh, so the way I do it, I'm gonna add two. I'm gonna add two to three. Two plus three is five. Let me show you how I got decided to add two. I am telling you how I added two. See this number in the front of x? Two times one equals two. So I add two to three. What? Wait, huh? I'm confused. All right. So remember that pattern I showed you, the one, three, five? No. This pattern right here, the one, three, five. Oh, it goes up by two? It goes up by this number times whatever it is in front of here. What? There's a two in front of the X. Yeah. So I multiply the first one by one, two times one. So I'm going to add two to that first number. What if it was like a three? Then it'd be three times one. And six would be a good number. And then six would be a good number, yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm plugging in the five into that. So it's square root of two times five minus six plus four. What is two times five? Ten. What's ten minus six? Four. four. So it's square root of four plus four. What's square root of four? Six. Two. two. So two plus four makes six. So it's a nice number. Six. Okay? So the next one I'm going to do two times three. What's two times three? Six. And I'm going to add six plus five. So now I'm going to plug it in. Square root of two times eleven minus six plus four. By the way, if you don't remember this pattern, you could just guess until you get a nice number. Okay, you can just guess. Like, so try four then. Or good. if that doesn't work, try five. I don't know the count. But doesn't, like, the numbers go up? Well, you got 11, though, right? Is that one, three, five, four, then seven? It's nine. only one, three, oh. five, but there is no number in front of X. So if there is a two, it's going to be two, six, ten. If it's a three, it's going to be three, nine, fifteen. If there's a if there's a negative one, it'd be yeah, negative. Yeah, I get that. I'm talking about the number that you multiply times. Three. It's always one three five. Yeah, or goes up by two every time. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right. So this is what's two times eleven? Twenty two. What's twenty two minus six? Sixteen. Sixteen. What square root of sixteen? Four. Eight. What? Four. <laughs> Four plus four makes eight. Okay, we okay on this chart? Yes. Okay, now let's plot the points. You got three, four. So you go down here, you plot three, four. Three, one, two, three, four. That's three, four. And the, what's the next one? Five, six. Five, six, so five, six. Four, five, six. All right, what's the last one? 11. 8, 11. So 8, 11. No, I'm sorry. 11, 8. Yeah. 11, 8. Oh, my bad, Bonnie. Uh, what is it? 6, 7, 8. We all left now. You're just a funny man. All right, that goes up like that. There's my graph. What is the range? What is the range? You okay range back there, Jack? Eight. Isn't the range y is, y is equal to greater than greater than or equal to what? Zero. Three. You're close. It's not three. Uh, two. Four. You want to use the starting y value. Oh. You're going to use the starting y value, but not the x value. Starting y value. Can we just use a graphing calculator? No. So we don't use the graph to find the range. Yeah, you do. Okay, if it's going up, it's greater than. If it's going down, less than. No, I'm talking about the number. You can use the number, that's four, right? Y is four. But it's on three. No, oh, X wait, is three, but the Y is four. <laughs> Alright, ready for our example A? Yes. Example A. So you set the inside greater than or equal to zero. 
So you're going to do x plus 3 greater than or equal to 0. How do I solve that for x? Minus 3. All right, so now, so that's my domain, that's my domain. And I'm going to plug it into my chart, right, x, f of x. So that's going to be negative 3, and I'm plugging in negative 3 into that, where it's 2 times square root of negative 3 plus 3 minus 1. What's negative 3 plus 3? Zero. 0. What's 2 times 0? Zero. 0. What's 0 minus 1? Negative 1. Please control your enthusiasm. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Now. So what would be negative 9? Okay, you don't want to multiply that number by anything. You want to add or subtract to it. What are you going to add to that? One. One. Add one. Wait, negative add two. One. Wait, add one? Oh. Yeah, add one to negative three. Add one. Yeah. So there's a number in front of x is one, so you add one. So that's negative two. So it's two times square root of negative two plus three. I added 1 to negative 3, so I added 1. Add 1 or add the number in front of x. And the, if it's outside of the radical, it doesn't count. It has to be inside the radical in front of x. Just to keep it simple, when you're getting the x numbers, you can just add 1. Yeah. You were getting right out of the radical. Wait. So if you're just adding the number in front of x, how do we go like from the first example five to eleven? Okay, no, not every time, just the first time. Oh. What? What if it doesn't come out as a perfect square? Then you added the wrong thing. What's negative two plus three? One. What's square root of one? One. What's two times one? Two. <laughs> What's two minus one? One. One. Like one time one. 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 That's what the Japanese dog said. Wow, 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 wow. Like in America, they say woof, woof. Japan, they say wow, wow. Okay. I, I'm recording this, I forgot. All right. <laughs> Are you going to post this on YouTube? Yeah, yes. Okay. I'm not redoing this. <laughs> okay. All right. So what do I add next? What do I add next? Three. Three. Right, remember, it's odd numbers. So what's negative 2 plus 3? Remember, it's 1, 3, 5. You, you go up by 2 every time. What you add? You go up by 2 every time what you add. All right. So it's 2 times the square root of 1 plus 3, then the minus 1. What's 1 plus 3? 4. 4. What's square root of 4? 2. 2. What's 2 times 2? 4. Minus 1. Three. <laughs> that you was. Oh, I can't say your name. I'm not allowed to say your name. All right. Why? Minor. I'm putting it on YouTube. I can't have student names on YouTube. All right. All right. So let's. New York is coming out of you. What? All right. So negative three, negative one. Negative three, negative one. <laughs> And negative 2, positive 1, negative 2, positive 1. It's up here, Ooh, on the other side. And then 1, 3. 1, 3. And you connect. Oh, that's beautiful. That's the best one I've done all day. All right. So what's the range? The range is y is greater than or less than greater than or equal to greater than or equal to one point negative one. 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 We have a one in here, don't we? Yes, we do have a one. One time. One time. Okay, ready? Example B. Go ahead. Now you got hit by the 
buddy. Oh, never mind. I just want to grab okay. a little air. Ready? Okay, I didn't hear a no. All right, example B. You know you just said his name. What is Yeah, but not the full name. Oh. Mr. Fartor. Besides, it's a wonton. I didn't say. Mr. Fartor, what if it's all? If it's a negative x, do you add a negative one? Yes. Yes. All right. Let's do this one. So first you find the domain. It's x plus 2 greater than or equal to 0. Subtract 2 from both sides. You get x is greater than or equal to negative 2. What's the matter, Miriam? What's the matter? <laughs> what about the negative sign? The D stand for domain. I'm allowed to say first name. Or one name. John. John. Furman. Furman? We have a Furman in here? <laughs> really? Yeah. I wrote it wrong. Did you okay. say two of his names? No. <laughs> well, I didn't even know that was his name. <laughs> well, that's just... Okay, stop. Stop. Yeah. Don't, don't get your game. I'm letting you... Okay. Uh, I don't think yeah, I, like, I don't think enough people watch my channel to worry oh. about it. But. <laughs> yeah, you have like one view on it. I do. Yeah, that was probably me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, okay, making my chart. So you start at negative two. All right, what happens when you plug in negative two? What do you get? So it's the opposite of square root of negative two plus two. What's that? What's negative 2 plus 2? Zero. Zero. What's square root of zero? Zero. What's the opposite of zero? One. Zero. 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 The opposite of zero is zero. The opposite of zero is zero. Which is zero. All right. So what goes next? Negative one. Negative one. You add one to get the next number. So it's negative of the square root of Negative one plus two. What's negative one plus two? <laughs> one. Square root of one is one. And negative one. <laughs> okay, what do I add now? Three. three. What's negative one plus three? Two. Two. So it's negative of the square root of two plus two. What's two plus two? Four. What's the square root of four? Two. So it's negative two. Now we plot those points. Negative two, zero. Negative two, zero is here. Now we plot negative one, negative one. So it's here. And two, negative two is down here. You only have to do it three times. Three times is enough. Tomorrow we have to do five. Yes. Yes, sir. How did you? How did I know to add three, or, or how did I add three? Okay, remember that pattern I showed you? Yeah. The one, three? That's why. It's always one and three, or some multiple of it. It could be, a, it could be like two times one and two times three, but it's always one and three. Okay. So you always go by one and one. Yeah. But I might have to multiply that number by something. Okay, like the next one, I have to multiply by something. Okay? How do you know to multiply? Uh, so here, I am multiplying by the number in front of x. Well, in front of this x, there's just a 1. So I don't have to multiply by anything. But in example C, there's a negative 1. So I don't have to multiply by a negative 1. All right, now. But you guys, if you forget that, you can just plug in numbers until you get nice numbers. I mean, it's just helping you find nice numbers faster. Okay? All right, so what's the range? Is it greater than? It is less than. So it's going down. This one's going down, so it's less than. Less than or equal to what? Zero. Why is less than equal to zero? Right? Because the 
High point is zero, and it's going down from there. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what are the directions? It says find a domain, find the range, and graph. So there's two, three parts. Yeah. Good question. I'm lousy at that part. Like, what's the answer? <laughs> I don't know why I am. All right, here we go. Last example. How are we doing on time? Oh, okay. I'm not even sure All right, so set the inside. This is the domain. Set the inside greater than equal to zero. Subtract one. Okay, this is addressing Tyrese's question from a while back. I have to divide by negative one. Whenever you divide an inequality by a negative number, the inequality changes direction. So this is x is less than or equal to 1. All right, so now I make my t-chart again. And I'm starting at 1. If I plug in 1, what do I get? So square root of negative 1 plus 1 plus 4. Wait, what? Oh, OK. Right, I'm plugging in 1 into that thing. All right, what does that become? 4. four. Okay, and now I'm going backwards, right? Or, well, so I have to, usually you add one, but I have to multiply it by that number in front of x, which is negative one. So I'm gonna add negative one. Negative one times one is negative one. There's a number in front of x this time. Oh. Right, so I have to multiply my one that I've been using by the number in front of x. So it's negative one? Yeah, so it's one plus negative one. That's what I'm adding. Uh-huh, one plus negative one. So that's zero. So the square root of zero plus one plus four. What's square root of zero plus one? One. So one plus four is five. Okay, one more. You're gonna do negative one times three. So it'll be negative three. So you're gonna do zero plus negative three, which is negative three. Okay, here's the part I'm confused about. So for the one you did negative one plus one. I did one plus negative one. Yeah, one plus negative one. Okay. So why are you doing oh. negative one times three? So this number, negative one, is the number in front of the x. Yeah. So the 1 and 3 is the ones we've been using, right? We've been using 1 and 3 every time. No, no, no. I multiply first and then add it. So negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Oh, okay. So this one is negative 3 plus 1 plus 4. Something is wrong. It's square root of the opposite of negative 3 plus 1. So it's 3 plus 1. Right, 3 plus 1. I forgot there was a negative sign I was supposed to do. Right, it didn't matter for the first one. Well, I did. I used it for the first one. It didn't matter for 0, but it does matter for negative 3. Okay, I forgot about the negative sign up front. So that becomes what? That's going to be positive 3 plus 1, so it's square root of 3 plus 1 plus 1. How will be positive? Because it's the opposite. It's the opposite of what I put in. Yeah, very easy. Here's a hint, though. If you put negative 3 plus 1 in the calculator and try to take the square root, you're going to get error. Oh, right, square root of negative two is going to give you an error. Yes, sir. I'm gonna get like a test on this. It'll be like, you know, like a negative three, like a negative three, and like, like make it a positive. We get like cross and credit for answer. No, you would. You probably done it right by accident. But that's okay. Getting it right by accident, getting it right on purpose. Same. Right. So that's six. So plot 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4 is up here, and negative 3, 
No, zero five, zero five, zero five, and then negative three, six. So you get an answer that looks like this. Okay, that one's pretty bad. All right, so what's the range then? Range is y. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? I'm scared it's wrong. Oh, okay. Y is greater than equal to 4, and we're done with the lesson.